Well, it's been a while, but we're back for more Mario Kart Wii CTGP because we barely made a dent in the courses and I want to play more. Plus, this is a nice, quick little set of short videos I can do in between Let's Plays and I'm in the mood to play it, so we're doing it again. All right, we're going to play today as someone who we have not played as up to this point, and that is my man Koopa Troopa. Koopa's been around since the beginning, and we're gonna try out the Mini Beast today. This is actually a pretty good card, so let's do it. So when we last left off, we had just completed the Hammer Bro Cup with all four of these courses. So now we are moving on to the Wiggler Cup. We've got GBA Ribbon Road, DS Luigi's Mansion, Wolf Castle Grounds, and the Castle of Darkness. I know those first two are gonna be pretty simple, but the latter two, oh man, I have no idea. So without further ado, let's hope for a Koopa Trooper Christmas Miracle, and let's get going. GBA Ribbon Road. Okay, so it looks like they've modeled this after the Mario Kart 8 uh, version of the track, which is great. I love the Mario Kart 8 version of this. It looks like it's taking place in Andy's room from Toy Story as opposed to the middle of the ocean for some reason. GBA Ribbon Road on Super Circuit took place in the middle of an ocean, which was weird. Also, I have not played CTGP in quite some time. And oh man, I have not been in the Mini Beast for a while, so... Gotta get used to this. Oh, that's right. R is not trick. D-pad is trick. Because of course it is. Yoink! What music is I don't recognize this music. Also, I can't hear the music over the sounds. This might be a battle track. I'm not really familiar with Mario Kart Wii Battle Mode. So, I know they can put battle music on the normal racing track, so maybe that's what they did. Okay, this is slightly different from the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version. I think I actually might like this one better. It's a little bit bigger, and there's not as much uh, bouncing on the ribbon part of the road, which can be nice. In Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the bouncy part of this track can make it so it's like, I wanted to turn, but instead it forced me to do a trick. Which is not great. Wait, is this the DK Summon music? No. I can seriously, like, not hear the music is so ridiculously quiet. Another thing I want to point out is I was hoping I could put in my own custom music for CTGP, because you can do that, but I couldn't figure out how to get Brawl Box working. I'm also like, well, maybe I'll just turn off the in-game music and edit it in, in editing, but... Nope, there's no way of turning off the music in-game. I could mute all of the game volume through OBS, but that would mean no sound effects like the power-ups. Which would be kind of bad, so this is what we have to deal with. Wow, there's no red shells. I'm loving not having coins. Also, I like the Mecha Koopas. The Mecha Koopas are not normally in Mario Kart Wii, so they... The hackers were able to add that in on their own. And I have a good enough lead, let's try to take the shortcut. ho -woosh! That worked quite well. Okay. That's normally supposed to be a shortcut in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but I either completely missed it, or they sealed it. Or it's like 200cc only. You can play with 200cc if you've got additional mods to this, but I do not. Okay, that must have been some battle music I'm not familiar with. I've played Mario Kart Wii Battle Mode like twice in my life, and that was like de a decade ago, so I don't remember the music there. <laughs> also, I am no longer Bully Maguire. I changed my Mii license to The Count. Ah, ah, ah. That way we can count how many wins we get. That was a fun one. I love GBA Ribbon Road. I actually played Super Circuit recently because they released Super Circuit on the uh, Switch Online. Surprisingly good, like better than I remember. 
All right, now we're off to DS Luigi's Mansion, which would be a much better course if you spent more time in Luigi's Mansion. Most of this track is in the forest outside of the mansion, which is fine. It's just a little bit deceiving. Also, there's going to be some sharp turns here. Okay, I really hope I can edit other music, because I... The only spooky music in Mario Kart Wii is the Ghost Valley music, which is not good. It's just like... Meow. All right, we've made it for the 90 degree turns pretty easily, though. Yoink! So now we go through the graveyard. Okay, this is going to be tricky to do with the Mini Beast. Although the Mini Beast has much better handling than I remember. I think this is considered a top three cart. Obviously, it doesn't hold a candle to a lot of the bikes, but it actually can perform outperform some of the bikes. At least according to Troy, who knows uh, Mario Kart Wii much better than I ever will. He made a tier list, and I think the Mini Beast was in the third tier from the top. He ranked it as, I think, either the number two or number three best part. Behind the, uh, what else did he rank high? The other cards he ranked high were weird. Not what I would have expected. I think he, oh, he ranked the Wild Wing above this one, which I thought was strange. I'm not a huge fan of the Wild Wing, but, eh, what do I know about the meta? So yeah, as you can see, most of this level takes place not in Luigi's Mansion, which I find a little dumb. It is nice that they replaced, that they put in mud here at the end, because back in the, <laughs> that tree just came out of nowhere. Uh, back in the actual DS version of this track, due to the lower graphics quality, the mud you go through at the end looks a lot more like red wine. So, I'm glad that it looks more like mud. I still consider, this is a good track. I just wish you were in the mansion more. I mean, it is called Luigi's Mansion, but we're only in there for, like, a quarter of the level. Honestly, that- Oh! Oh, I didn't even realize there was a hole in the fence there. Was that in the DS version? I don't remember that being there in the DS version. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, we are destroying them. I promise we are playing on 150cc. This is fantastic. Then again, I also am much more familiar with G these two tracks than I will be with the next two, because I've never played the next two before. Which is great! This is the part where I get to blind react to things. It's gonna be great! <laughs> so next up was like Wolfbane Woods or something? I don't It's something to do with Wolf. Wolf Castle Grounds! Alright, yeah, this is an original track. Oh, it's a wolf! Ow! Oh my gosh. I like the wolf memorabilia, and it's a nice looking castle. All right, I'm hyped. I love castle tracks, so I'm excited. All right, I'm gonna take a look at the mini map to see what's, okay, okay. This looks like a nice, fairly simple track. You've got some 90 degree turns in here, so you gotta be aware of that. Oh yes, and it's N64 Bowser Castle music. I love the Bowser Castle tracks, but I gotta say N64 Bowser Castle, probably top two Bowser Castles. It's like that, Double Dash. I also really like DS uh, Bowser Castle and GBA Bowser Castle 4. Those are like the cream of the crop for Bowser Castles, in my opinion. I know people really like Wii Bowser Castle, and I get it, but it doesn't hold a candle to some of the others. All right. So some of the turns in here are a little tight, and the, the ground does blend in with the walls a little bit. But that's okay, these are minor nitpicks. He still did a much better job with this course than I ever could. Ooh, that would be nasty on 200. And if you're in a car with much worse turning. Oh! Ho, ho. I'm glad I paid attention to the minimap ahead of time. Because otherwise these 90 degree turns would be catching me off guard. Oh, this is an awesome course though. I love it. This is a worthy castle horse. Not as intense as the Bowser castles, but very fun and very well decorated. I think maybe you could do with fewer 90 degree turns. Like, not all... I know, I know there's a good mix of 90 degree turns and rounded turns, so actually maybe I'm just being nitpicky. <laughs> I like the wolves on the wall. 
<laughs> I like to think this guy's like, I want to make a castle course. It's like, you can't just make a castle, dude. You gotta give it a theme. Uh, well, I like dogs. It's like, dog castle's kind of dumb. It's like, well, how about wolf castle? That's, there you go. That's a winner. And this is a winner. Oh, no. That's okay. We still have a massive lead. A Koopa Troopa breakaway. Dude, the mini beast is cracked. I forgot. Uh-oh. Oh, that was strategic, guys. We fell off intentionally to avoid the blue shell. Not really. That was entirely stupidly on my part. Wario is getting uncomfortably close, War. Wario, what have we told you about personal space, all right? We're racing on a, co on a racetrack. Wario, respect my personal space, please. Koopa Troopa has social anxiety, all right? And he doesn't appreciate you getting gradually closer to him. Oh, good. Wario got the hint and fell behind. I'm okay. <laughs> Ow! I love the wolf, how the wolves are literally only in it for one part of the actual track. It's just like, oh, wait, it's wolf... It's Wolf Castle Grounds. Oh, shoot. Do you think we should put in some wolves? Probably. All right. We'll put in a few wolf paintings and then a little wolf sculpture, and that'll be good. Okay, that turn would probably be not great if we were a heavy guy. Or in, like, the sprinter or something. Man, how do you hit that boost panel? Maybe you would need a boost for that? All right, we are dominating this circuit. I'm really liking the, the uh, Wiggler Cup thus far. Three great tracks. I can only hope the uh, Dark Fortress or whatever it is is going to be a worthy send-off. Oh, Castle of Darkness. Okay, I can barely see in here, so it's living up to its name. I like the I like the skybox. I am not liking how we can barely see in front of ourselves. I know that's the gimmick, but... Well, let's we'll see how it plays out. Maybe it's just here for atmosphere. Again, mini-map. Oh, that is a one complicated mini-map. There's a sun in one part. All right. So up here, there's going to be a turn to the right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> and we also get more N64 Bowser Castle. That's fine. I haven't had enough of it yet. Okay. Uh, so that first turn was ridiculous. Let's see if it uh, gets a little bit. Oh, man. I want to go over here with you guys. I'll follow the CPUs. They'll probably know what they're doing. Or maybe that's a big mistake. Okay. I don't really like these off-the-wall turns. They look cool, but I am not... Wow, that's... Uh, good luck getting through that. Well, that's right. Red shells don't fly in this. Which is good. The mushroom ain't gonna help me because I don't know where I'm going. Although I guess I can use it to accelerate. Ouch. Okay, this is like a Bowser Castle 64 spiral staircase. Donkey Kong. I know it's supposed to be Castle of Darkness, so you're not really supposed to be able to see very well, but it really would help if I could see where I was going. This is probably one of those courses that's really fun when you, like, get the course down pat and know all the different, like, ways to go and shortcuts and stuff. And it's visually kind of impressive. I'm still not sold on the whole we can drift on the wall thing. Oh, this is off-road. Okay. It's a good thing we had a mushroom. Oh, no. Not bloopy. Okay. So we can go up here. This is a different side than we went to the last time. Oh, my gosh. Floating power-up. Thank you for throwing that at him instead of me. Okay, then we have a sharp turn over here. I know that now. Oh, yes. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Do you go left or right? Is there a difference? I should go right next lap. Because I actually went to the left this lap. Or, and last lap. Okay, there's a lot of alternate routes, and I do like... Oh, I don't like how the alternate routes sometimes are like, Well, you're on off-road. There was no way of knowing this would take me to an off-road section, so I lost a lot of time. 
just because I took a way that I honestly thought was the way I took last lap. Okay, cool ambiance. This is one of those stages that you really need to practice, though, if you want to master it. It's not super beginner friendly. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was kind of hoping it would pass her, but that's okay. Okay. That pal block actually messed me up. It's like the fourth pal block in my life that actually messed me up. Oh, this is weird. You're like, you're getting boosts on this wall even though it doesn't look like you would. Oh, bad luck, baby peach. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's not the double way to go. This is. Alright, we're going this way this time. Yeah, and it's hard to know when we need to turn, because we can barely see. Okay, that, if you just, if you don't know that turn is coming, you're not making it. I will criticize courses that do that. Good power-up? Oh, that's a good power-up. Uh, if we don't use it to hit a wall, that is. Oof. Okay, we won fifth. Not great, but that should still give us the win overall. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We still dominated overall. Okay. I think that last course had some cool ideas. Maybe just make it not so dark. I know it's the, the Castle of Darkness, but... Make it a little obvious when we're turning, and I think that you would have a real winner of a course, because I did enjoy that. And also make it so that that one ramp doesn't just take you to an off-road section you can't get off of with no warning. Otherwise, though... I think that was a very solid cup. I would definitely go back to it. Rank C because I did bad on the last course. Well, it happens. All right, I don't know how I have gone this long in playing Mario Kart Wii CTGP without playing as my man Diddy Calm, but we're playing as Diddy Calm now. Seriously, please bring Diddy Calm to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We added Birdo. If we don't get Diddy Calm as one of the additional characters, I will riot. It is outrageous that we have Baby Rosalina and Pink Gold Peach, but not Diddy Kong. But I digress. Okay, what have we been in? What have we not been in before? We've not been in the Wild Wing. We could try. We've already been in a cart, though. Been in all the good bikes. I guess I could be in the standard bike. Sugar Scoot. No, you know what? Let's try Zip Zip. I do not remember Zip Zip, so this is probably going to be terrible, but here we go. All right, we are now on the Penguin Suit Cup. We've got... Niverbia DS Mario Circuit Musical Motorway, which I'm pretty sure is Free DS Music Park, just given a different name, and then the Dark Matter Shrine. Oh boy. Dark Matter Shrine might be really bad. I have heard there's two different Dark Matter courses. One of them is supposed to be great, and one of them is supposed to be terrible, so we'll see. First up, Niverbia. Oh boy, we can get mold wine. Just like Santa always wanted. I asked Santa for mauled wine, but then he mauled me with a bottle of wine. He misheard it as mauled wine. Then he said something about me not specifying what I really wanted and then flying off. All right, Zip Zip has outside drift, but that's okay. I can take outside drift, I think. I, li I love the design of this level this far. I kind of gives me a Frosty Village vibe from Diddy Kong Racing. And I, I love Frosty Christmas Villages. Okay, I'm sorry, Baby Daisy. I, I didn't realize that was a wall, and that was my bad. <laughs> Diddy Kong hasn't been in a Mario Kart game in a hot minute, so he's, he's getting back into practice. Oh, is this going to be one of those tracks where it's like, wait, you're not on an inside grip bike? Then why are you playing CTGP? Oh, okay, Zip Zip actually... Duh, wow, I can't even remember the last time I got a lightning uh, as a power-up. Zip Zip has good, um, handling, though. Like, you... So, Zip Zip, if we want to turn tightly, we don't actually want to drift. Okay. I'll just have to keep that in mind. Zip Zip is bad at drifting, but good at actually just doing a regular turn. Also, I forgot about wheelies. No wonder I'm doing badly. I'm not abusing the most broken mechanic in Mario Kart Wii. Okay, now we're getting the DK Summon music. That makes sense. Oh! Yeah, I, I stopped accelerating for a little bit there. I like this level. 
Yeah, this is nice. It really, it gives that, like, you're in a holiday resort or, like, a ski resort kind of feel. It's cool. And there are no ice physics, so you know I'm a fan of that. Okay, yeah, I found if you just don't drift with Zip Zip when you don't have to, it, it performs a lot better. And now we're doing great. Get the drift if you can, but... Don't drift around the tight corners. Just what I wanted. Ho ho ho! It's interesting seeing all these Piantas in this snow village. When the Piantas come from Isle Delfino, which is known for being tropical. A what? That's a gap? That's okay. Now I'm not shrunk anymore. I did not realize that would be a, uh, jump. Oh, hey, Mr. Penguin. All right, all right. It took us a little bit of time getting used to this bike, but we are back on top. Although that was a narrow first place. Good job, Diddy. Way to prove that you still deserve to be in Mario Kart. Yes, I will keep advocating for Diddy Kong's inclusion in Mario Kart. I love the man. All right, it's time for the most forgettable course in Mario Kart, DS Mario Circuit. A course that I literally forgot existed until they brought it back for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Pack number four. Because Mario Circuits tend to just be very boring and very nonchalant. There are very few Mario Circuits that I actually really like. It's like the N64 one, and the Wii one, and that's pretty much it. Otherwise, every time you use the Mario Circuit, it's, well, there's a road, and there's Goombas, and that's literally it. If you're lucky, there might be a Chain Chomp. But oftentimes, the Chain Chomp doesn't even do anything useful. Looking at you, Double Dash Mario Circuit. Double Dash Mario Circuit is slightly more exciting than this one, but only because of the Chain Chomp. Oh, wow, okay. Zip Zip really does not have good handling. Or does not have good drift. It has great handling, bad drift. No, seriously, it's like Mario Circuit. You've got a road, you've got a dirt path, maybe some piranha plants and some Goombas, and if you're lucky, a chain chomp, and that's it. There's no substance. And, like, every, every Mario Kart needs at least one Mario Circuit. It just seems like a waste of a slot. I'd rather have a more interesting course. Like Nirvana, or whatever that last course was called. It wasn't called Nirvana, but it, 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 was a, it was a word similar to it. Yoink! I probably shouldn't. Oh no, I should. I just nailed Yoshi with a green shell. That was satisfying. Oh, you ruined my fawn! <laughs> Oh, wow, triple. I don't think I deserve that in third place. So thank you, Mario Kart Wii. Wow, the, the instant I touched the power-up. Like, seriously, though, there's, this course has, like, nothing going for it. It's just, it's just boring. Like, if this was a fan-made custom track, I'd be like, you know what, that's fun. It's not anything special, but it's fun, and it's, like, fan-made, so I'll give it a pass. This is official. Like, they had a full professional team working on this. I... I expect a little bit more. And take that as a compliment, you know? Mario Kart tracks are normally so top-notch that when they don't deliver one that's sub-top-notch... Oh, no, you don't, Baby Daisy. Baby Daisy tried to steal my thunder. Wow. That was less than 0.1 second off. But Diddy is still undefeated in the circuit. Nice. All right, now Musical Motorway. Music Park? Yep, yeah, Music Park. I thought so. 
because for some stupid reason, the 3DS uh, courses, they changed the names of them for no reason. What if Nintendo, in the next Mario, in Mario Kart 9, when it gets released in 2038, what if they make a course that's actually called Musical Motorway? What then, CTGP? Well, I guess you got 15 years to think about it. Honestly, as much as people like to make fun of Nintendo for never making Mario Kart 9, like, the fact that we literally got double the Mario Kart content pretty much for free, well, I got it for free because I have the Nintendo Switch Online, like, Super Family Pack that I split between my siblings and my friends. Uh, I We got it for free, and I'm like, double, Mar literally twice as much Mario Kart 8, and I don't have to pay for an extra game. Um, heck yeah, that's, that's like the best deal ever. Plus, I really like Mario Kart 8. I think that they've kind of perfected the physics in the game, more or less. I know the, the super hardcore will be Mario Kart Wii's best. I get it, but Mario Kart Wii is completely unbalanced and broken. Like, there's a small subset of vehicles in Mario Kart 8... Whoa, that was close. In Mario Kart 8... Oh my gosh, they changed the blooper ink to be the musical notes. That's kind of amazing. No, in Mario Kart 8, there are obviously certain combos that are gonna... Uh, certain kart combos that are gonna do better than others. I get that. It's not super noticeable to me in Mario Kart 8. Like, if you've got a combo that's worse than usual, unless it's like you literally pick the worst combo, you're not going to notice a huge difference. In Mario Kart Wii, the difference between, like, the top five vehicles in the game and all the others is so astronomically big that it's like, oh, you picked one of the other vehicles? You have no chance of winning competitive. Like, the fact that, like, literally half the vehicle's bikes are just flat out better than carts is ridiculous. Again, I'm pretty sure this is battle music that I don't recognize. It's it's Music Park. I actually like I like this. This reminds me of Music Park from the 3DS version and not the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe remake of Music Park. Yeah, I like I like this course in the 3DS one. I'm not a huge fan of this course in Mario Kart 8. I don't know what they did. I feel like they made well it's probably just because we have 12 players racing on the course instead of the 8 in the 3DS one, but even so, this feels more like the 3DS one. In a good way. Like it feels like the shortcuts maybe are a little easier. Less difficult to fall off. Less pandemonium. They might just be the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe power-ups make this course a little too chaotic. I don't really know. But I'm enjoying this. I would... I definitely was hitting the trick button. I don't know why I still lost my power-up for that. I could try to take the shortcut at the end here, but I'm on the last lap, and if I fail, I will not win first, so... We're not doing that. Yoink! Diddy is on fire! Okay, we just got Dark Matter Shrine left. No idea what's in store, but it might be something really cool. Or it could be bad. Oh, what the heck is this? This course doesn't even look finished. It's like that one VeggieTales episode where they just didn't finish the animation or lighting. Oh, this, it's Rainbow Road. It's, it, it's literally just Rainbow Road. Great. Well, all you gotta do is be better than we Rainbow Road. That's all you gotta do. It's a low bar. You just have to not be a glitchy mess. Okay. Gold Mushroom is not great on Rainbow Road, especially a Rainbow Road I've never played before. So I'm actually not going to just mash the button like I always do. Okay, this is interesting. There's multiple ways to go. I like that, except that also means that red shells don't work properly. So I actually kind of don't like that. <laughs> Paradox, I know. Okay, Dry Bowser. This is a bizarre course. This is very bizarre. Actually, wait, I might have played this one before. 
I don't know why this is called Dark Matter Shrine, though. This has nothing to do with Dark Matter or Shrines. This is literally just... On, this is literally Oil Spill Rainbow River. I guess the Oil Spill at the bottom is supposed to be the uh, Dark Matter. Oh my gosh, what the butts? Stop giving me gold mushrooms! Oh, um, okay? That was weird. Are you serious? Stop giving me gold mushrooms! Gold mushrooms are not useful on Rainbow Road. Well, actually, okay, right here in my- Nope, not in this bike. If I get another gold mushroom, give me a bullet bill. Please. I'll take a star as well. A star is easier to control than a gold mushroom. Okay, what if we don't hit one of these panels? Oh, hey, there you go. You didn't shrink, Mr. Invincibility. Well, I'd put this at about the same level as we Rainbow Road, which is not a compliment. We Rainbow Road is the worst Mario Kart course. Period. Assuming that we're talking official Mario Kart courses, by the way. Obviously, Mushroom Peaks is a lot worse. Oh! And yet, somehow, we're in first. Oh, wait, I know how we're in first. It's because we got a bullet bill. I'm also trying not to do anything stupid. I like the star bits in the background. The... The crystal ball trees are a weird touch. It seems like a course where they didn't even finish all the decorations. They're just like, oh yeah, uh, don't look at this part of the level. I couldn't think of anything to put there, so I just put a black void. Okay, that course wasn't great. But I'd still say that the two cups we played today were really great on the whole. The average level in those cups was very good. So I thoroughly enjoyed myself today. And I didn't even have to use a stupidly overpowered uh, bike. So that's great. And Diddy Kong gets a perfect score and gets first place and it only gets an A rank because this game is extremely stingy with his ranking system. I, in my opinion, if you get first place on every race, that should guarantee you at least get one star. Maybe not all three if you raced really badly, but you should at least get a star. But that's just how I see it. Alright, that's going to do it for this episode of Artie Plays Through Mario Kart Wii CTGP Tracks. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next time, we got another two cups and some more characters and vehicles to try out. Hope you tune in then. Uh, hopefully, we can keep this series going. I like doing this as an ongoing series. You know, just do a couple of videos here and there in between Let's Plays, and we can come back to it. It doesn't take up my channel for a huge amount of time, and it gives me time to prepare for the next Let's Play. I, I really like that, so I hope you guys continue watching these in the future, because I have a blast making them. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and God bless everyone.